Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to my video for Sagittarius. Hello, Sagittarius. Hope you're doing well. Sending blessings to you all internationally here in the USA. Today, we'll, we will be doing a money reading, money, career, and life purpose. Okay, so let's get started. Got a little bit lost there for words. Uh, giving a shout out to my subscribers and welcoming my new subscribers. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. Um, and welcome, welcome. Okay, so this is going to be for Sagittarius. And Guys, put it in the comment section if you would like. Let me know what type of work you do, what you do. Okay, give the video a like if it if it resonates with you. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. We will be talking a little bit about money and the law of attraction with these cards. Okay, so this is what I have. So I'm going to start with these cards and then I'm going to kind of top it off with some empowering questions for us to think about okay so let's see for you Sagittarius what's what will be the message for money and the law of attract attraction attracting money let's see And what we have here is life is always working out for me. So that's definitely a positive affirmation to attract money, to bring money into your life. Remember those words? Life is always working out for me. I like understanding that things are always evolving. And while we while there are many things that could be better where I am, it is not really a problem because where I am is constantly changing to something better. I like knowing that as I look for the best things around me, where I am, those things become more prevalent in my experience. It is fun to know that things are always working out for me and as I watch for the evidence of that, I see more evidence of that every day. Positive way of thinking. Make that affirmation to attract money. Okay? Money attraction. All right. Put that over there. Let's. The better my story gets, the better my life gets. That's good to say. Let's say it together. The better my story gets, the better my life gets. Okay. Gets. Let's dive deep in. You know, I need to look close because that's why I'm stumbling here because I cannot see this. Okay. Let me read that over. You can say things like only good things come to me and I'll figure it out as I go along. Every time you tell your better feeling story, you will feel better. Okay, that's your better feeling story. Okay. And the details of your life will improve. The better it gets, the better it gets. Those are the things that you say to yourself. The better it gets. Telling your story. The better your story gets. You got a book and you got a pen there. All right. And let me pick one more. There is no shortage of money or time. There is no shortage of money or time. There is no shortage. And any attention to shortage of something wanted will always produce negative emotion within you because your guidance is letting you know that you have strayed from your broader basic understanding of abundance and well-being. Whether you are focused upon the shortage of money 
are seeing yourself as having only so many years to live. And so each day that is expanded, expended is one day closer to the end of your years. That feeling of decline is contrary to your broader understanding of the internal nature of your being. Hmm. Food for thought, right? Let me know if those cards resonate with you, but they have very strong messages, I gotta say. Don't you think? Huh. Okay. All right. Money and the law of attraction. Okay, so let's get some empowering questions here. Let's raise our vibration. Okay. What gives me great joy? What gives you great joy? Think about it. What kinds of recurring situations are people do I attract? That's something to think about. What kind of lessons might they have? What kind of lessons might they have about myself? Hmm. Let me pull one more. What have been the most defining moments that have helped shape my life? So, if you would like to share, put your answers in the comment section. Let me know how these resonate with you okay um and we will get started and go deep into what's in store for you Sagittarius we will go deeper to see what's the forecast for money career and your life purpose we want to know how your finances will shape We want to know about prosperity and abundance entering into our lives. That's what we want to know, Sagittarius, right? All right, so let's see. We have the Hierophant here. So this is about institutions working at probably a building, um, government, um, jobs like that. It's like, it could be politics too. It's like an institutional setting, you know, tie, suit, dress, slacks, maybe be dressed down on Friday. But this is the Hierophant, so it's about guidance, it's about law, um, let's see what else, it's a major arcana here, let's see what else the Hierophant is saying, let me move further, the three of swords, okay. So Sagittarius, in the past, there were some disappointment here. Um, automatically, when I see the Three of Swords, I feel like, wow, you could be feeling like I need to do something different. I need to do something different because this is, it's not working in my favor. Okay, there, or I need to fix this. Okay, so wherever how this three of swords fall, it says that there was some emotional, something that affected you emotionally. Even though it's not a cup, it's, it's swords, but it more so affected you mentally. Okay. So I feel an institution type setting, government. Um, if it's not government, it's like you're working in a building, maybe in a cubicle. Um, let's move a little bit further. Ten of Cups, your family. 
This is the Ten of Cups and your connection with family. So when I see this that's over you, I'm getting a sense that you may have worked a lot and put in a lot of work hours, but I feel like something is not giving you the passion with this Three of Swords. Maybe you want to be more close to your family. Um, maybe you want to work at home, possibly. I, this is what I get, like a work at home, like an entrepreneur, independent type work. It feels like you might want to get out of the structure and be more liberated in your work. I feel like maybe this is what the universe is pulling you into. Um, yeah, for many of you, I feel like you may just do what your passion is and take the risk. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. So you got tens coming in here. So ten is about going full circle um, with the tens. So going full circle and starting anew. I feel like some of you are maybe saying I'm tired of working for other people in a restrictive mode and I want to branch off. And if I branch off, I can be close to my family and also I can earn a living. Okay. It says that there is an opportunity of abundance coming in for you. Okay. Maybe you work at a job, but yet they're saying, okay, you can work at home. Okay. So you may still hold the job, but there may be an opportunity coming in that you can work at home. Okay. But some of you is going a total new direction. King of Pentacles. This may be someone that's offering an opportunity with the King of Pentacles coming up in your near future. There may be an opportunity coming in. Um, but also this could be your energy as well because you're, you are concerned and your focus on your environment here. Okay. Let's move a little bit further. Oh, you know what? I forgot my life purpose cards. Yeah, I forgot the life purpose. Okay. Um, five of pentacles. Okay. So moving a little bit further. I see this Ten of Pentacles, which is in abundance. And this is also money coming into you as well. Could be from uh, an inheritance, but it could be something you're expecting. Um, but it feels like money coming into you, coming in for you. It feels like money you could already have, and you're wondering how to utilize it, possibly to work at home. Okay? But we have the Five of Pentacles here. So this says that there is some type of challenge or shortage that, that you may have to, have to deal with for a while. Let me just see a little bit more. The Hierophant. So the Hierophant is also about seeking, going inside and seeking doing research, seeking, getting wisdom, getting knowledge. There's more that you need to know. This can also mean schooling or training. So there's more that you need to know with this situation. Okay. So you are searching. You got your lamp there. That's on your guide. You're watching the direction that you're going in. You have the 10 of wands going in. So something is heavy. Something is, it feels like a lot of weight. Something feels like a burden. So this is why we come up with this two of swords because the decision has to be made. Now, there's, for some reason, this came about. And it could be a reason, you could know that reason, why this, this and it's going towards the, the more so into the future. But it's it's showing some type of it feels like 
a shortage, but at the same time, it feels like an opportunity for you, for the better. Um, so I feel like, a, you know, where, where one door closes, another door opens. Okay. So it feels like an opportunity. It feels like you're going to make a decision. It feels also like what you're doing now has been a, a big weight on your shoulder, has been a lot on you, okay? Maybe they're giving you a lot to do in this, this job and it just feels like you need to do something different, okay? But a breakthrough is going to come in. We have the Three of Cups coming in. We have the person in green, which is the heart chakra, and we have the person in blue. Which is the throat chakra. Let me see this blue. Or the third eye, actually. Your intuition and uh, your understanding here. Um, but it also could be the throat as well the throat chakra speaking. Um, but you're rejoicing. It seems like there's some type of celebration here. Okay, so with the throat chakra, that tells me about communication uh, coming through. Um, but I also feel an intuitive feel here as well. I feel like something is pulling your energy in a new direction. So I feel like this five of pentacles may have been more of a sacrifice to you. Also, this can represent health as well. If there was a challenge with your health that's causing you that you're not able to go to this job, you know, drive to the job and go into the building, it feels like something shifted here um, that may have burdened you a little bit, but it feels like you're seeking this breakthrough. And I see this with that Ten of Pentacles abundance coming in for you. So that looks good. Um, let me just see. We got the King of Swords and we got the World. Wow, you may be working at home and on the internet. The World. I feel like this someone is changing their career. With these Tens now you have the world so going full circle it feels like a new path here you're starting and with this three of cups tells me it might have been an opportunity or it will be an opportunity that you've been waiting for there's going to be much communication with this opportunity as well we got the king of swords here um there's going to be much opportunity coming through for you so i feel like it's a new opportunity coming in um, is going to change your financial situation for the better. Okay? That's what I'm seeing for you, um, Sagittarius. If this reading resonates with you, give the video a, a like. And thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. Until next time, God bless you.